Someone on YouTube has been uploading all of your local streams. Yeah. Yeah, the question is, do, do you want to sue someone over it? Because that's ultimately what you got to do if you want to do, like, takedowns of content. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a... There's a cadre of people out there who are parasitic. So they take content from other people. And there aren't really mechanisms to fight it without making yourself look like a piece of shit because you're going after some small channel or whatever. Or if you want to sue them, like... I guess you're going to spend, you can spend fifty to a hundred thousand dollars bringing a copyright lawsuit for like what loss? There's not really a way to go after anyone. Here's why I generally if people ask me, I'm just going to give them permission anyway. Because what are you going to do to stop them? But I don't. I mean, whatever. I don't know. It'd be funny if like locals went after them or something. Yes, spices. It is absolutely why we can't have nice things. Yeah. <laughs> Make no mistake. Uh, people doing this sort of shit is, is why locals change from what it was to what it is. And there's no way to... There's no real way to fight it. Tracy R. Gordon, see, here's the problem. If you ask something nicely of someone, they may take it nicely. They may also like screen capture your request and frame it as if it wasn't nice or a threat or something like that, try and make you look bad. Honestly, what I tend to recommend people to do as content creators for most of these things is ignore it. So look, I, I don't, look, if people are gonna clip or take whole streams and upload them. I mean, I guess, what do you, what do, you do about it? Because you can, you could copyright strike them, but if they just file an appropriate response, it's a dare for you to sue them. If you don't present the lawsuit documents within like three days or seven days or something like that, YouTube puts it right back up. And just who taught them to respond correctly? Me, of course. I mean, I think the DMCA system is bullshit, but all of it's bullshit through and through. There should be a better way to deal with it. But that being said, if Locals or Rumble had a licensing agreement with one of their creators, like for example, someone they contracted with, to protect Rumble by going after YouTube uploads with DMCA takedowns, like they could do that. I mean, that's why they would in some you know, in, in theory, but I don't know. But yeah, it is a PR nightmare, Panther. I agree. But see, creators, like, going at, like, us going after something like that, then it becomes a drama issue between two people, even when it's not a drama issue. But a company going after, you know, going after them, it's less of a personal thing. I said... I just ignore it because there's no point in paying attention to it. But I mean, here's the thing. There are some people, no matter who you are, how big or small your channel is or whatever, if you create content long enough and it doesn't have to be that long, someone will decide that they need to interfere or whatever with what you do, comment on it, et cetera, et cetera. And a lot of times that will manifest in someone clipping your content or doing something and creating a place for an audience to comment about you. That's fine. You have to be okay with that as someone who creates content because it's going to happen. Yeah, Spices, I agree with you, but again, uh, it's just, it's part of the gig and you can spend a lot of time, money, energy fighting it, or you can just keep making your stuff. The problem is when you start fighting it, 
when you go after people, when you dwell on it, you're spending your energy and your limited, limited stress and emotion on shit that just doesn't matter that much. 